Hey, 79 Hurst Wolves guy here again. If uh, this is your first time stopping by and taking a look, thank you very much. If uh, you've stopped into the channel before and taken a look or looks, thank you for doing that and stopping in as well. Uh, this time, uh, I'm going to show you a Walther LP53, and the LP stands for Luft Pistol. And which is German for air pistol, and 53 is for the year that they started, so 1953. This particular one, yeah, obviously it's in, in a deluxe case, uh, is actually a 1953 model. Uh, the serial number is 003086, and Walther uh, I found uh, they list the serial numbers as starting at uh, 1040, so that would make this the 2046th pistol made. Uh, you'll notice it has uh, the black grips. Uh, they did come with brown or black, and it was uh, uh, also a, a smooth finish there as well. Uh, this one, uh, in the first model year, uh, there was actually 2,514 made in 1953. So production totals, um, uh, per Walther in the serial numbers, uh, they, they listed about 125,000. The uh, uh, other folks have found serial numbers higher than what the ending serial number was, so they can be up to 130,000 or so. But, you know, on average, uh, for the years, I'll go with the Walter, uh, Walter uh, being made from, uh, say, 53 to 1976. Uh, per the Blue Book, it shows an ending year of 1983. But I would average, uh, average uh, roughly about... 5,200 guns or so per year uh, were uh, were made for this uh, for the LP-53. I'll pull the gun out here so you can take a little uh, closer look. Uh, the sharp-eyed people here will immediately notice this one has had a repair done on the rear sight there, and you can see the screws and the little metal plate on on the back. Uh, but the sight is functional and it has uh, the rear sight blade. The, uh, they came from the factory with uh, two additional sight blades here, uh, and this one obviously does have them. Right there, and then they also came with uh, uh, three total, one obviously mounted on the gun, but uh, front sight. Uh, this one's a little square. Uh, I've changed and put, a, it's the same shape, but it's a little bit thinner. And this particular one, it's got this little round, I guess, narrower kind of hourglass, hourglass type shape there to it. So the early models like this, uh, they, uh, they came in the smooth finish. And eventually, as the models got later, there was an actual crinkle finish that was done to this. And you'll find the Walther and then the LP53 and the other stamping to actually have the crinkle finish, there'll be a circle around it. So you'll see that in the later guns. This particular gun, and I have not figured out what this stamp is. I have looked on the internet, and if you can see it right there, it says Lux with a circle around it. Uh, I've seen, like I said on the internet, I've seen other guns that have it, very, very few uh, of them, but I, I have not been able to figure out or know what that mark is. If someone by chance knows, uh, please uh, leave a remark in the comments section. It would be very much appreciated. These were uh, 177 caliber. They did come with a rifle barrel. Uh, there was about, it's about nine and a half inches or so in overall length. This one is in very, very nice condition, uh, in my opinion. There is a little uh, marking here on the barrel and then you'll see marking kind of wear marks right here up here in the front of the barrel and obviously the front of the sight and that comes from the caulking aid which is what would you would uh, the guns did come with there you can see down there the 
little metal, I'll say pin, which would slide in here and then allow you to assist in caulking the gun. Uh, this uh, is a little bit, you know, it's a little bit worn, but it's not cracked and it's in, it's in really good condition. So uh, the kit also came with, you know, a brass rod for, I guess, cleaning or pushing on a potential stuck pellet. This, the earlier guns, and I'll, I'll cock this one here, had the adjustable trigger. And you'll see that right, you know, I'll get a pencil right there. Let's see if I can get the little light on there. And I'm not sure exactly when the adjustable trigger went away. I've seen um, comments about 1957. I've also seen 1960, but they did go away. I think it was in around the serial numbers around in the mid 20s or so for the serial numbers. But uh, uh, something I don't know if it's good to have or or bad to have, uh, or if someone would even miss it if they didn't have it. So. It's just one more feature to be aware of here. This one does shoot. Uh, it was uh, It's a very nice shooting gun, by the way, and feels really good in the hand. You'll notice in this earlier gun here, it has this uh, curve back. In the later versions, or later version, I guess you would actually call it two versions. One is the curved, for, uh, and then one is kind of a straight. This curve here is gone, and it's pretty much a, a straight angle down on the gun uh, nothing I guess remarkable on there it's all steel these the grips are plastic uh, and one thing I was looking at online was that uh, folks have identified about five different variants of this and I'm not going to go into the the descriptions of the five, five variants it's uh, you can find it uh, online uh, but what was interesting with this particular uh, gun and what attracted to me was, A, it's a 1953 uh, issue, uh, and then B, it came in the deluxe carry case, which back in the day was uh, around $10.50 or so. I found an ad in, for 1956 which showed this uh, deluxe carry case at $10.50, and the gun itself at thirty-seven fifty. So extrapolating that out for two thousand three dollars, that would be four hundred and twenty-one ish dollars for the gun, and roughly a hundred and eighteen dollars for the case. So you'd be into it about five hundred and thirty-nine dollars or so for for this particular kit. Um, they did normally, or without the case, would just come in a a regular kind of cardboard box. And the case is very desirable if you can find them. The earlier guns will be this blue. The exterior case, uh, although it probably looks black here, is, is supposed to be blue. And then depending on the angle, you can see kind of a, a bluish tint uh, to this to the exterior case. But the later cases will be uh, uh, maroon. And I'm not sure if the maroon, I think it's still a gray uh area here for where the gun actually sits, but not not 100% on that. Um, obviously, this being a 1953, this is a 70 year old gun, so doing pretty good there. Uh, this did not come with the gun. This is a, a newer uh, owner's manual or instructions for users, as it's titled, uh, from Walther, but uh, this you could have these guns with a barrel weight, and if the Deluxe case, uh, if, it, if the gun was ordered and came with a deluxe case and had the barrel weight, you'll actually see a, a recession here where the barrel weight would go. Uh, and so if you're finding one with a case that is, doesn't have a barrel weight, that's why that recession is there. It's for the barrel weight. On the back here, you can see that uh, they do uh, illustrate the, the cases there. And uh, the deluxe case is lined with velvet inside and covered with dark blue synthetic material. Don't know what that synthetic is, but it looks kind of shiny and looks kind of nice. Um, as I said, the grips did come in brown and black. The earlier pistols will have this smooth finish, and the later pistols will have a, a crackle-type finish. Um, but if... Uh, Someone has any, like I said, mentioned any information about this Lux sticker right here. 
that would be that would be great to uh, have the info as so if you could put it in the comments section that would really be much appreciated here uh, i'll show you the case real quick it's a nice little click the handle is a little worse for wear here but uh, it's still at least attached in uh on both sides uh but it's it's coming up in spots here but uh probably put a little glue on this or something like that and knock it back down but overall really as i said a beautiful gun this is also uh the james bond gun i won't get into the information on that there's others that have done lp53s here on youtube and have commented about uh the james bond gun and you know being in the ads or the displays for like the russia with love movie etc so but just wanted to bring this to you it is a beautiful gun i have fired it and it's very accurate and strong uh beautiful to have in my collection and as always thanks for stopping by and just remember you're 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 not an owner you're a caretaker thank you so much